Okay, so we've got this bird equals we've got it's going to give w and then we've got we've got to take obvious obviously got to take this into account which is going to give us the zero and then if we look because we got can't miss off the limit so if we look at the limit that's going to be r and we are very close this actually work double sum of i actually think it is i actually think it is which leaves the d oh man the bird the bird is actually the way everybody said about the bird <laughs> Oh my god, we're going to get it! Move that out of the way. Woo! Awesome. Okay. So we might as well just look at fractions. Um, adding and subtracting fractions today. We're going for the neon look, Mr. Holt maths. Here we go. First thing we're going to look at is if the denominator, that's the bottom number, if that's the same, it's actually quite easy. So we're going to look at adding first. So the bottom number is already the same, the denominator is going to be over 7. Denominator stays the same. 3 plus 2, 5. Just add the numerator, which is the top number. Oh, panning. So, in this one, the reason this is here, it's going to be an add as well. Denominator is again already the same, so over 12. And 11 plus 5, 16. Now, some people might think that's wrong, top heavy fraction. For the mathematicians amongst you, we can convert that. How many 12s go into 16? 1, remainder 4, and the 12 stays the same. We could simplify that further, but we'll just keep it there for now. And the last one, we'll make a minus, just so you know what's going on. Denominator is going to stay the same. 15. 16 take away 3. 7. So there's no issues with that one if the denominator is the same. That's no problem. The problem comes when we've got denominators that are different. So we're going to do an add one first. We're going to do this in a couple of stages. So I rewrite the question. So I'm going to do a fraction plus a fraction, which is from there. It's going to give me a fraction answer. We can do this in the stages that it works quite nicely. The first stage is we times the bottom two numbers together. There are other ways up around this, but I find if you times the bottom two numbers first, you can't go wrong, and then at the end you're going to have to simplify in some cases. So 6 times 7 is 42. And we write that on all of the denominators. So now we do our cross multiplying. So 5 times 7 is 35, and 1 times 6 is 6. And it does matter about doing it in that order. Always do top left, bottom right first, and then top right, wait I said that the wrong way around. Top left, bottom right first, top right, bottom left second. Then we just, now we're at the stage we've just been at on the first slide. So 35, add 6, 41. And there's our answer, 41 over 42. Simplify if you can, but at the moment we're just interested in the skills behind adding and subtracting. Uh, we'll go for this one as well, we'll do another addition one. Again, different denominators, not the same. So we're going to do the same process, rewrite the question, and then assume the answer. So 7 times 9, always use the trick on my hands for that one, 63. And then again, we'll go straight in with the cross multiplying. 4 times 9. Drop, I don't know why I'm using the answer for that one, but whatever. 36. And then 7 times 2. 14. And again, we've now got the denominators the same, which makes the question loads easier. 36 and 14, 50. 50 over 6, 3. That's your answer. And again, not interested in simplifying, because it will after the skill. The last one, because the question we always get asked as teachers is, yeah, but, so does that mean you divide on this one when you're taking away? Well, no. 
it's all the same process, just at the end, make sure you take away. So we rewrite the question. Fraction, take away a fraction, equals a fraction. We're going to times the bottom two together again. Eight nines, 72. Write it on all of them. We then do the cross multiplying like we've been doing. Five times nine, 45. And it is crucial that you do it in this order. Because if you do it the other way around, you'll end up with negatives, the wrong answer. Make sure you do it in this order first. So five times nine, 45. Three times eight, 24. And again, some people rush this and think, oh, it's an addition one. It's not. 45 take away 24. So we're going to end up with 21. 21 over 72. And again, you could simplify it, but this is the skill we're after. So we need to get to that point. And that's it. They're the stages you need to follow when adding and subtracting fractions. And that's it from me. And I hope you have a great day. I hope you like the new look. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Peace, bye.